Hey, what's up, everybody? Andre Simpson here with Young Black Wealth Builders with another awesome video coming at you today talking about wealth building and financial freedom like we always do. Today, I want to talk to you about, um, I had an opportunity to spend some time with a mentor of mine and, um, and, and we were talking about money and the guy's pretty wealthy and he said, Andre, you know what? You know what your problem is? And, and I was like, what's that? He said, the problem is the reason why you run out of money. He said, because you are a, you work a job, right? I said, yeah, at, at the point in time, I, I work a job. He said, he said, um, uh, you are a full-time spender, but a part-time earner. I said, what do you mean by that? He said, again, you are a part-time earner. You work 8 to 12 hours a day, but you are a full-time spender. I said, please explain. He said, well, when you're a full-time spender, he said that you probably got Netflix, right? You got Hulu, right? <laughs> I said, yeah. You got electricity bill, right? You got water bill, right? You have a wife, right? <laughs> you got credit cards, right? You got all these things. Money is constantly going out of your house 24 hours a day. You got a mortgage. That interest is constantly growing, right? So he says, you are a full-time spender, right? So you're working... Your money is, is, is being spent like this, but you only working like this. You are part time earner. So you work eight to 12 hours a day and then you come home and, and, and you're not making any more money. Your income stops. But guess what? The bills are still coming in. The meter on the water thing is still out there running. The electricity meter is still running. So when you are a part time earner and you are a full time spender. Now he said, but the banks, the credit card companies, um, the mortgage companies, they're all full-time earners. They have money coming in 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Okay, People are paying their mortgages all the time. People are paying their card notes or their credit cards all the time. They get money 24-7. That's why they're the biggest. That's why they're the baddest. That's why they're the strongest. He said, Dre, you have to learn how to stop being a part-time earner and you need to learn how to become a full-time earner, okay? That's what's going to allow you to keep up and outplay, outpace your full-time spending, okay? So you need to learn how to make money while you sleep. So I said, okay, so not only do I work as a part-time earner, but I also started a home-based business on the side that allows me to receive passive income, that also allows me to receive residual income, so now... I'm in the process. I'm not there yet. I'm on my way and it's looking good, but I'm on my way to becoming a full-time earner, right? My other mentor says, if you have residual bills, then you need to have residual income because just as fast as those bills come, paychecks need to come right behind it in the mailbox to take care of that. So ladies and gentlemen, you need to ask yourself this question. How long am I going to continue to be a part-time earner while I have full-time spending going on in my life because I'm working so hard, I'm trying to keep up, and it's not looking too good? This is Andre Simpson. I hope that helps. Young Black Wealth Builders showing you how to get your money up, get your income up. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 2018. You got an entrepreneur up. It's time to get your game on, y'all. It's time to get after it, all right? So it's a pleasure chatting with you. Um, if you want to know more, there should be a link around here somewhere. Click on that. Let's connect. Let's go build some wealth. If not, I, I appreciate you listening. I look forward to seeing you at the top, not from the top, because you deserve the best. Have a great day.